the original 1989 Michael Keaton's Batmobile. I'm still on the fence whether or not I want to pre-order it, and there's been just a lot of talk about it. So with the prototype being on display over at Secret Base in Hong Kong, I don't think that's the final version of it. I really uh, want to compare the original uh, to hopefully, when they do announce the new design, kind of get a, a, a real world feel. And I haven't pre-ordered it yet because I still feel that they may release a different version, they may release more Batmobiles. I really don't want two versions of the 1989 Batmobile. Uh, hopefully this visit will help kind of answer some of the questions I still have lingering whether or not the, the vehicle rolls properly, how well the lights are, and so forth. Odin's treasures. Fake. What's the stuff in here is fake. Weak. Smaller than I thought it would be. That's not bad. When did you pre-order this? When did this come home to your collection? One year after it got, uh, it uh, was, um, shit. After it waitlisted on the side show. That's what it was. Yeah, one year after it got I got this on the second day. Ah, okay, so you did not pre-order it through Sideshow. No, no, I got this one off uh, Evil Bay. But uh, it was brand new, never opened. How do you open the gas cap on? Doesn't. Do you, it doesn't? Does the new one? Does the gas cap? I think it does, doesn't it? No? I well, we didn't see it. Not the photos. All right, I gotta fact check that during my read. Yeah, so from my point of view, it does not look bright. Uh, the camera's adjusting for the lighting, so it looks semi-bright on the camera, uh, but it just, to me, it does not. This is one of the things that uh, I was concerned about. Uh, see, it looks bright on the camera, but it does not. It looks like it's a single bulb bulb system, not like a true LED. I don't know how long these would last. So on, I thought this came off. Did you? Ah, uh, you know what? You just answered one of my questions here. So I'm assuming that the scratches is, it's you. Right? I thought this was molded in, in, in solid black polymer plastic, but this now signifies that it was painted by Hot Toys. So not critiquing your scratch, it just it answers my question that, because I thought this was just solid black and it was never actually touched by paint. Yeah, I had, I had this in my office okay. for, uh, for about five years. And, uh, and it was like, and I guess it must have rubbed against the wall. So what do you what do you think? Do you think because I know that the prototype is right on site. It's 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 on display at Secret Base Hong Kong. Do you think they're going to do slight modifications in the same manner they did with the DeLorean Mark II? Yeah, I think so. Like at least looking from the photos, like there seems to be a little bit more paint application on on the mechanical parts that that uh, stick out. Like uh, there's a lot more blue tinge, like from from heat. Uh, from the heat, from the, from the mechanical parts. God, I'm gonna have to do side-by-side -side comparisons with the, um, with the newly announced one. I didn't realize that there's two tones of light here, and I don't know if the new one has exact same feature, or if it's, I wanna say off of memory, it's a yeah, it looked, solid orange, right? Yeah, it was, so, it was one solid color for okay. sure. Okay. And, let me see if I can adjust the, uh, you can kind of see. So what I, I'm adjusting the uh, the aperture because it, it looks like just how you explained it's bulbs. It's not maybe it's those old school bulbs. I mean, this was designed in 2011 for what 20 late 2012 2013 release. Yeah, different shots. So what we're doing is that he pulled up the actual new uh, yeah look the photos. Yeah, let me see if the camera just to. 
this is what we're looking at as we're looking at his actual Batmobile. It's it's more of an orange hue. And I'll, I'll put the photo on the screen at this point. Uh, you know, something else that I've, I noticed too, it looks like this acrylic is almost as aged in like a real car. You know how the plastic on a real vehicle when it's exposed to the elements, it starts to age? This is kind of giving off, I'm trying to adjust for the lighting here. It's giving it off. A little bit different. Mm. All right, so both wheels do turn. They're on the... And then... Oh, so this one does. All right, so gas cap feature here. So I was curious about the gas cap because when they finally finalized the design on the Batmobile and if I decide to get the 89 or like I had mentioned before if they do like an afterlife version where it's 35 years old and it's weather or beat down or if they don't I'll settle for the 89 Batmobile and my plan was that it runs on three double A batteries and I would drill through the gas cap and I would turn this into a USB plug where I'd actually have the cable plugged in right here and it would keep the Batmobile power it on continuously, like all of my 1.6 scale vehicles right now. All right, so this one does have the wheel locks. I don't know if the camera can pick it up because I don't want to, but you can kind of see, you do have to remove those little red tabs on there to keep the, to actually let the wheels move. So that's pretty cool. And you have the base underneath there. Oh, it's heavy. I think it's 18, it's 18 pounds. So you have the uh, Michael Keaton's Batman from 80, from not 82, from 92, from Batman Returns. Have you ever attempted to actually put him inside the vehicle? Yeah, I have. Um, you got to be careful with it because like the gauntlets are super, super, uh, the, the sharp uh, edges on the gauntlets, they'll, they'll break off really easy. And the ears can clip on the top of that when you, when you get in there. Uh, but the problem is, is like the with the the bat suit, it's, it's just not made to bend and sit in there properly. So he can't sit properly. So it's more like he's more like leaning back, you know, into it with his butt not on the seat to be able to actually get him in there. I gotta say, this is cool. It's different to talk about it on live streams and discuss its future and then the announcement, but to actually see. An '89 one, and just to just interact with it and play with it, uh, it does look fun. So I, I gotta say, I'm I'm pretty pretty sold on this thing, and uh, yeah, I, the only modifications I would probably do would be, I would want mine lit all the time. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna dedicate space to a vehicle of this size inside of my new case, uh, it has to look alive. Uh, so. And the fact that, oh, there's two gas ports here. I didn't even notice that. So maybe one is sealed and one opens up. Mm. I never noticed, I, I never knew that. I wonder, I wonder if the actual hero car or actually had two gas tanks that required both Phillips. And this doesn't stick or anything, does it? This is nice. Having the privilege to look at one of these in person, it really does, really does make a difference in determining whether or not you want something of this size in your collection. This is fun. And I had seen this in his collection years ago, but I try as a collector never to look back. I'm like, fine, it's expensive. I'm not gonna go backwards. But now that the, uh, the opportunity has been presented, now I look at it with completely different eyes because now I have uh, an affordable retail opportunity to buy it and you got to plan for this shit, folks. You have to figure out where you're going to put it, when's it going to drop, and it's not just a vehicle too, though. You also need to figure out, well, are you going to get the figure? What about the back computer that was just uh, announced or, or teased? Is that coming home? 
How committed are you to the world of Michael Keaton? Because let's not forget though, in the Flashpoint trailer, we did see Ben Affleck and he could probably be getting his own Hot Toys figure too. So, does the trunk open up at all or no? Yeah, that's where the battery is. Oh, let's see, take a look here. Oh, you can hide a lot of stuff back here. Oh, this is cool. That is neat. Put Vicky Vale back there. <laughs> Kidnap her ass. This is nice. Yeah, this is definitely one for the books here. I like this. This is uh, this is cool. Uh, folks, I gotta give a special thanks to Sean, aka the Hatalorian, for letting me come over and visit and let me play with his wonderful toys. Glad to have you over to visit and uh, check out my collection. Um, I just you know, want, want to throw out a shout out to Brian from Magic Case and just say, where the hell is my Magic Cases, Brian? It's been over a year and a half now. And, uh, you know, it'd be nice to have uh, some Magic Cases to uh, show off my collection. So. It's, uh, it's killing, it's killing uh, Sean that he, these, these Magic Cases right here, uh, he ended up picking them up from a local ride that was just... Right? Did you just pick him up from like Craigslist or something like that? Yeah, or, or, Facebook or Facebook Blue. Yeah. And and now that he's had a taste of the excitement, now he's ready to <laughs> uh, have his uh, the, the actual collection uh, convert and transform. So, special thanks. And uh, like, subscribe, folks. And thanks for watching.